How does one create history? By beginnings? Wars? Innovation? Success? In over 200 pages, explore 50 years of WWE's historical reign in sports entertainment. WWE 50. Available March 31st. Pre-order now online or wherever books are sold. You already know Kowloon Restaurant, established in 1950 and spanning four generations, serves a multi-Asian menu. Did you also know that Kowloon Restaurant is New England's premier Asian dining and entertainment complex, serving Cantonese, Szechuan, Thai, and Polynesian cuisine? And did you know that Kowloon Restaurant is also the home of the finest Japanese sushi? If you haven't dined at Kowloon Restaurant lately, then you simply haven't dined at Kowloon. Kowloon Restaurant, Route 1 North in Saugus. This is Shelton R Benjamin. This is Harley Race. This is Mick Foley. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. This is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans, welcome to a special installment of Wrestling Insiders. I'm Dan Marotti. Today is Monday, October the 20th, 2014. Unfortunately, we have some sad news to bring to you in that wrestling great Ox Baker has passed away. Ox made his debut here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation in October of 2002. He became an extended member of the family, to say the very least. Ox had been battling health problems um, about the past half year or so, if not longer. He had a help in his home. Uh, we certainly hope Ox is in a better place right now, hopefully being able to certainly rest in peace. Ox Baker had one hell of a career, fans. Um, if you're a longtime WWE or even WWF fan, didn't exactly make a household name for himself in that territory at the time, but he was well known all over the globe. He was an AWA superstar on the NWA territory in Florida. Him and superstar Billy Graham were tag team champions there out in Detroit. Uh, New Zealand, Puerto Rico for uh, MWF heavyweight champion Carlito, Carlos Colon's WWC promotion. He was a major star out in Stampede for the Hearts. The WCW in Australia, not to be confused with Ted Turner's organization, even out in the ICW, which was ran by the Poffo family, which spawned Macho Man Randy Savage, as a matter of fact. Um, he did have brief stints in the WWF. Uh, he was the friendly Arkansas Ox in the 60s, and he did come back in the late 70s for, I believe, the Jackal said was going to be a run against the champion at the time, Bob Backlund. That was a little before my time, so I really couldn't pitch in too much. Ox was also well-remembered from his time in Hollywood. Um, he was the monster in the movie Escape from New York with Kurt Russell. He also uh, had spots in several Jackie Chan films, so Ox Baker... Um, left his mark in the world of not only professional wrestling, but the world of entertainment. Here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation, as I noted, he was first with us in October of 2002 at Wakefield, Massachusetts. He managed Gino Martino and then went on to form a group of monsters in Ox Baker's Evil Army. Uh, we could go on and on about that cast and crew that wreaked havoc over the MWF. In later years, Ox became a... Uh, a friendly giant of sorts, aligning himself with Quincy for several holiday specials. Uh, and also, along with Reno Chastain, the three of them came out with Bushwhacker Luke and Bo Douglas at Soul Survivor 8. I also got to know Ox a great deal from his involvement in the Cauliflower Alley Club. I remember the first Vegas reunion I attended in April of 2005 with Todd Hansen. Uh, Ox was the first person I saw sitting in the lobby of the Riviera Casino and Hotel on the Vegas Strip. Uh, 
some memorable stories from out there that we won't get into from right now. Sat with Ox at the 2006 Cauliflower Alley Club reunion down the street in Old Vegas. Uh, certainly Ox contributed a lot to the sport. He was always an open ear. I remember how excited the boogeyman was last time he was with us to actually meet Ox Baker. He made a major impact on boogeyman when Boogie was a young child down in Florida and saw what an evil, giant, brute Ox Baker was. He may not have been a mat technician, but certainly had the look for the proverbial wrestling villain. So Ox Baker, we certainly thank you for everything you did here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation. In the world of professional wrestling, thanks you for everything you gave of yourself to make the king of sports that much better. Ox Baker, rest in peace, my friend.